Hello, back again. Eh? It's already a long time ago that I was here in front of the camera, I have to admit, because um, plenty of work to do before the fair and everything. But here we are now and uh, we are um, always thinking of what can we do here in order that especially musicians are very interested in what we're doing here. So today I was thinking that um, everything on the violin is, or on the viola, cello and even on the double bass is important. And this here is the fine tuners. Fine tuners matter. Years ago, everybody had just a simple fine tuner on it and we didn't talk about it. And then slowly, slowly in the past uh, 30 years, new materials came in and new ideas and everything was revised. And nowadays you have plenty of fine tuners. The ones which are here in front of us are just a small amount of fine tuners. There's one thing I just wanted to tell you, the less fine tuners you have, the better it sounds. So, today you don't hear any differences of anything we are, we are doing here, but I invite you, if you have the, the, the desire of how is your violin actually playing without some fine tuner, this is just great, take off one string, take off the fine tuner, there's a small screw around, you just take it off, you can take off the whole entire thing, watch out that you don't scratch the top, maybe you put a sheet of paper or a postcard or something underneath, you take it out, it's a little bit tricky, but it's fun to play a little bit, and you just put the string directly in. You will immediately recognize why we have the fine tuner, because it's pretty difficult to tune, right? But then you hear the, your, your real sound. Now, what is the difference actually? It's not, it is not because of the fine tuner of one or another. It's rather the system and it is especially here, you can tell it is the weight itself. So when you are now a beginner and you, have, you get your violin from a violin maker as me, all the instruments have only one fine tuner. Tuning is so difficult, it's so comfortable using the fine tuner. So you put four of those, okay? Four of those, keep it in your hand and put it on a weight or 22 grams, okay? So this 5.5 gram is one fine tuner, okay? So 5.5 gram or 22 grams on your, fine, on your tailpiece attached, which is actually vibrating, makes a big difference. It's killing your sound, okay? If you want the best to get out and you play already good, start using your pegs more. In the beginning they won't turn very well. Since you are playing every time and you have to tune here every day, the more you tune, the more you tune, um, use your pegs, the better it will work and the less you need them actually anymore. You get used to it. What you do every day, you become better in, okay? So, if you have now a traditional one, weight is the first issue. 5.5 grams, close to 6 gram, one fine tuner is one thing. And the other one is certainly also the distance of the free string here vibrating. If you have it on a fine tuner, it's much shorter, okay? So the whole entire instrument is less free to, to vibrate. On the E string, it doesn't matter that much. If you have a traditional fine tuner, then I would invite you to use a very tiny one, which is inserted here into the uh, tailpiece. And then it is just the tiny piece inside here. And this one is very light. It's only three grams, okay? So three grams compared to 5.5 will make a nice different, okay, a difference, okay? On a violin, you can take the one with this small hook. On a viola, I would rather suggest you to take the one which is a little bit longer and has like a small grip like this for the A string. You can even use this one also on the violin on all the other strings because this one is also a little bit more heavy than this one. It's four gram. You can a little bit adjust and play with all these fine tuners. 
and they don't cost that much, okay? And since they don't cost that much, I see very often people buying crap for a few cents, they buy the cheapest stuff they can buy, and then these screws doesn't work, and then my buy tuning, it's difficult, and, and, and. I think these ones from Wittner, made in West Germany, it's printed on here. Uh, they really are reliable. The screws turn very well, the material is good. And this is something very nice, okay? For the violin makers, I invite you to make a small file here in order that the top does not get scratched by the fine tuner when they go all the way down and then they could touch the top, okay? So it's all a question about weight. And before we stop this video, we have another thing. And this is, why do I have all these tail pieces here? It's all about the weight. So now the difference between a heavy ebony tail piece, 16 grams, and the lightest one is eight grams with the fine tuner. This one is from Bogaro Clemente. Vittorio will love me that I'm making advertising for him. Made in Italy, extremely expensive, beautiful, but it's halfway with the fine tuner integrated compared to a common ebony tailpiece, okay? It's two of those is like one of those without fine tuner, okay? And that's, you will hear the difference. Now compared to this, in uh, Asia, in Japan, they really love um, Pernambuco, which is usually used for the bows, for the tailpiece. Seven grams without fine tuner, so with the fine tuner, it's the it's, 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 it's same than boxwood from uh, Vittorio, okay, uh, Bogaro Clemente. So even the Pernambuco, is quite light. I didn't expect it to be this light. This one is shaped inside in order to save weight. So once you're inside all this matter, you will see there are many things you can change on your instrument and you can, now changing the tailpiece is a little bit more difficult, but with, this, with the fine tuners, I think you will have fun. I'm looking forward to hear from you on your comments what is the difference and how it sounds better and then later on I will make a video where maybe Ayong or somebody else is playing and we put one and then we put another one and you will listen to the differences okay I hope you enjoyed this one down below is all the description all the links don't forget to subscribe watch out bye bye have fun bye bye